I am actually um, about to go to my 10th therapy appointment. Ugh. Oh, there was this really big elephant in the room. <laughs> okay. We have a Holly dresses. And I got this, because I have a lot of dandruff, so I got this like shampoo scalp massager thing, but it's for people with dandruff. So when I wash my hair, I like get really up in there. So balloons, <laughs> because Feline and I, we like to play volleyball in the house. So we wanted to do it with balloons. <laughs> So Feline and I made Oobleck. Is that what it's called, baby? Oobleck. Oobleck. It's literally just water and cornstarch. And when you touch it, it feels hard, but then it's not. <laughs> if you have kids, they'll love this. <laughs> so fun, babe. <laughs> so I'm not a tea girly at all, but I am making a tea for my baby. And I'm too short. So I gotta use this guy. <laughs> Today was actually the first time I ordered takeout in a long time. I got a Diet Coke. My favorite part of the day, opening up the blinds. Unfortunately, I started having that lung issue again and it turns out I have acute pneumonia. So I had to go pick up antibiotics. So I've been on those for a little bit. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. So guess what? Today is my 12th therapy appointment and is literally gonna happen in two minutes and i just want to say i am proud of myself so let's talk about live streams destiny that whole situation so i was putting a lot of my time into the whole trying to clear up my name and try to share my side of the story of a relationship that i had eight years ago a relationship that means nothing to me now a lot of things that Destiny was saying was bringing up obviously old trauma, like the things with her mom and Destiny cheating on me and what Destiny did to her dog, which I've seen a lot of people validate the reason why Destiny did that and I will forever disagree with that. That is why during live stream era, I said that I didn't like her and I thought she was a horrible person. I am no longer going to be talking about Destiny. I don't care what she says or what she has to say about me. She could literally flat out lie to you guys wholeheartedly and I'm just gonna let it be. For the last few weeks, I have not been on track with my eating i have gone back to ordering takeout and this is something that i was terrified to tell my dietitian and my therapist i was very very scared because for the longest time i haven't had anyone like higher up that i had to talk to or tell or really answer to like i've had no one that i've had to answer to youtube isn't reality and i just want to read to you the first part back um that my dietitian sent me First of all, I am proud of you. Thank you for your email. Thank you for your openness and transparency with your therapist and now me. This demonstrates to me that you are more ready for surgery now than even some post-op patients I have worked with in the past have ever allowed themselves to be. It takes a lot of courage to open up about your struggles. So I appreciate that you shared that with me. And then there's like four other paragraphs, but those are private. I weighed myself today and I've gained a couple pounds and that's devastating. That's not that's not what I want for me. And that's that's not the goal here. My whole weight loss team is like hardcore rooting for me. So I want to give an update on Timu. As you guys know, I bought a bunch of like makeup, makeup brushes, da da. And the only thing that I'm keeping when it comes to like the makeup area of what I bought is this brush. Um, I'm gonna actually clean it before I use it, but a lot of people said do not use the makeup um, cheaply made, something about like rat droppings are in it, and I said, girl, <laughs> you ain't gonna catch me using that then. So I had to throw it all away. Um, normally I would not do that. I would like give it to someone else or like Goodwill actually takes used makeup, which is really weird. Whatever, I might not agree with that, but they do take it. Bottles of water, like how unique is that? I think I will be doing this because I personally love doing IQ tests online. And by the way, something else I noticed that I also want to mention is like my attention span is really short. This is my friend. She's like, I don't like your live streams. I gained three and a half pounds. I escape. I want to escape bad emotions, bad situations. And by doing so, I'm escaping with food. Right now I'm about to eat. I am so hungry. I don't even know where to start. Mmm. Mmm. Legos. If I'm watching a TV show or like watching YouTube, whatever it may be, and someone starts eating something, like that is highly triggering for me. Pizza is also weirdly one for me. Like, I used to just like endure the pain. Um, I used to watch watch a lot of mukbangers like Be Loves Life, um, Zaddy Chunk Chunk. I don't watch mukbangs at all, ever. Food is about fuel, but it's also like 
you want to feed your body but you also want to feed your soul and you need to figure out how to like do it in moderation so that has been uh harder for me just look how gorgeous that is though for real that's the first piece of art i actually ever received so beautiful <laughs> we're in my closet now we are really in my closet i just feel like there's a lot of clothing i want to get rid of that i don't wear don't want to wear etc etc like there's no point in keeping it if i don't want it you know what i'm saying so this is a velvet shirt that i have not yet even worn but i don't want it <laughs> loved it loved it loved it loved it loved it we have a massive grocery haul i ordered this from mcdonald's and also got a diet coke but it's like a little icy moment i was hardcore craving it Tomorrow, me and Feline are starting a no takeout challenge. It's like literally just don't order it. I have been crying a little bit today, so if I look a little under the weather, that's why. Um, I've had my fair share of jobs. YouTube is the most stressful. <laughs> I'm about to eat a raw asparagus with some mustard, okay? <laughs> this is crazy. I, I do need to talk to you guys about weight loss surgery and stuff, but right now, I, I just don't... I don't want to and that's just like a boundaries thing i i put two and two together i had like a little epiphany and it's not like yeah duh you can't stop eating food but you can stop eating junk i'm not addicted to brown rice chicken and broccoli i could tell you that uh 30 minutes of exercise daily and i'm allowing myself to like break that up i don't have to do it all at one time i could do it in five increments um just as long as i get 30 minutes of that so exercise for me could be walking dancing um leslie sandstone workouts um like chair workouts like arm workouts leg workout workouts like anything like that and then also like no cheat meals because that just like completely triggers me yesterday calorie wise i had 1600 well to be exact i had 1638 see the thing is i'm not doing like breakfast lunch dinner i'm just eating what i want you know what i'm saying so what do i want that's the real question what do i really look like You'll never know. Fasting for 16 hours feels amazing because during that time, I don't even have to think about food. Yesterday, I had 1800 calories, so I'm eating very, very low calorie. Like the day before that, I had 1600. And I am drinking water, I'm peeing more, I'm moving more, I'm exercising more, and I'm doing more, I'm doing better. I'm eating like extremely healthy. I can't let daily fluctuations mess with me. I have to really focus in more on like the weekly aspect. So I think that's why I'm gonna like just come at y'all with, um, the weekly weigh-in so let's do a taste test i'm kind of nervous about the potatoes oh i look rough wait let me fix my hair <laughs> what is happening so as you guys remember last year like i went through this whole long thing where i got so many different diagnoses diagnosis is that a word who knows when i breathe in it hurts but like my lung hurts um it's like a sharp pain i do want to like i want just like a final answer to not know what's wrong with me is very worrisome obviously and i don't like it i don't like the way it feels like you need your lungs lungs are important i have a lot of health anxiety um i used to have really bad like hypochondria and even dr now from 600 pound life admits that there is discrimination in healthcare for um people who are my size are you there we are not friends so i realize that i'm not going to count calories because when you stop all the processed food like all that processed food has like chemicals that literally set your brain on fire like it has been proven it like doesn't understand hunger cues full cues etc so by eating all this like raw veggies especially and just like good proteins and just whole foods like obviously i'm not perfect but eating all these things it definitely helps with like my hunger cues it helps with my full cues my brain isn't like on fire because of all the processed food so it's like i have been forcing myself to eat when i don't want to like force myself to eat i want to just like listen to my body so this is me saying that i am no longer counting calories because it's just it doesn't make sense at this time right now i do want to say one more thing before i end this clip i'm not counting calories but i am paying attention to them and feline even asked me the other night she was like what is like the difference but i think she understands now too let's eat let's talk about weight loss surgery so i finished my 12 sessions i was approved by my therapist i then was approved by my dietitian and my next step was to meet with a surgeon to talk over everything that i've done and to set a surgery date i would say it's been over a month where i have felt disconnected from weight loss surgery like i wasn't ready and there is a lot of personal reasons why I chose this decision. I have chosen to postpone weight loss surgery. I know there's a lot of people saying that I was not approved or I was like declined. That is not true. 
I am not saying that weight loss surgery is never gonna happen. I'm simply saying that it is postponed for now. I was putting in a lot of, a lot of hard work trying to get the surgery and I know that a lot of you wanted me to get it, but I realized like in my gut that there was a lot of things telling me not to do it, but going under for surgery is very scary at my size. And I feel like I should be validated in the way that I feel. Hopefully my words will not be dismissed. I feel like that's definitely gonna happen, but I, I finally feel better again. I feel like me again. I am able to see a bright future regardless, regardless. I have been putting work in regardless. Like you guys see that. I also haven't told you guys that I haven't had a soda in almost a week. It has been almost a week. I have not touched a single lick of anything other than water. Always remember to clean the little lint thing out of the dryer between each dry. Peters don't want to see me eating carrots. <laughs> my metabolism is no longer the same. I love trees, like it's my fave. Oh my God, yay, I can walk in a store for an hour. You guys know I'm having lung problems. And last year, my lung problem, it also radiated, like the pain radiated to my shoulder. You guys, I had to give you an update on my Starry Night Lego. This has been one of the hardest Legos I've actually put together. That is so cute. While uh, trying my first bite of food, it dribbled on me a little bit, so I am gonna change before my way in. So, continuity, folks. So when you see me wearing something different towards the end, it's because I changed my clothes. I just don't like wearing shirts that are stained. Last Wednesday, I was 526.2. For the first couple days, I was like staying the same. And then I gained some weight and I'm like, oh, who is she? Like, what is happening? But today I weighed in at 522.8. That is a 3.4 loss and I'm very happy with that. Well, after my appointment, we're gonna go to Goodwill and donate these dishes. It's a very nice set, but we don't need them anymore. This just isn't user friendly. These are just complicated. So we're gonna drop off this box. I am referred to a lung specialist. So I am so glad and so happy that my doctor listened to me. I just appreciate this doctor so freaking much. You have no idea. <gasps> so we're about to go to Target. Okay, okay. So this is the real reason why I'm here. I really, really am itching for a Lego. So I just wanted to take a look. I've just done so many. So Feline and I like to do this thing where we guess how much it's gonna be. <laughs> Her first guess was over 300. First of all, I did the math wrong. <laughs> and then my guess was 240. No, it wasn't. At it first. Was 245. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna... not talking about at first. <laughs> Okay, we're not talking about it at first. I don't get anything wrong at my home. So if you guys know me, love dinosaurs. I am a Jurassic Park nerd, absolutely. Like there are some that are $100 that only have 900 pieces and then there's some that are $100 that have 1,200 pieces. So it's like, you know, you really have to like put two and two together. I got Hermione on her broomstick. I would love Hermione on her broomstick. Now that would be cool. Bye. 